Hi friends and welcome. I hope you're having a terrific day. Today's book is going to teach us about some different cultures and their foods. I've also included recipes at the end of the story, so don't forget to give those a check and see if there's anything you might like to try. Remember, if you'd like to make this a read along to turn on your closed captions. Let's get started. Everybody cooks rice. Everybody cooks rice by Nora Dooley. Illustrations by Peter J. Thornton. My stomach was grumbling. Mom was cooking dinner and I couldn't wait to sit down and eat. Carrie, will you go out and find Anthony? Dinner is almost ready. Mom is always asking me to look for Anthony. He's my little brother and he's such a moocher. If he's not playing ball or hopscotch, he's at a neighbor's house tasting their dinner. I walked outside and looked up and down the street. I couldn't see Anthony anywhere. So I went over to Mrs. Darlington's house. Anthony and I call her Mrs. D. She's our next door neighbor. Mr. and Mrs. D are from Barbados. It was Thursday, so their grandchildren, Sean and Stephanie, were over having their favorite dinner, black-eyed peas and rice. At the front door, I could smell fried onions and bacon. It made my mouth water. I ate a small cup of rice and black-eyed peas while Mr. D told stories about Barbados. People swim there and go fishing, even in December. Suddenly I remembered I was supposed to be looking for Anthony, so I asked if anyone had seen him. Sean said he'd seen Anthony going into the Diaz's house. I went there next. When I walked into the kitchen, my friend Fendra Diaz and her little brother Tito were cooking dinner because their mom was working late. Tito was telling Fendra that she uses too much spice. Fendra said Tito was checking the pot too often so the rice and pigeon peas would never cook. Their teenage brother Jose told them to pipe down. He wanted to watch TV. I looked in the pot to see what was cooking. The rice was bright yellow. Fendra told me that her grandmother in Puerto Rico had taught her how to cook with turmeric. Turmeric makes rice yellow. Tito gave me a taste from the cooking spoon. Boy, was it delicious. Then I asked if anyone had seen Anthony. Fendra said Anthony had been there to taste their dinner, but had left to visit Dong. So I went across the street to Dong's house. Dong Tran came from Vietnam five years ago with his family, aunts, uncles, cousins, and all. Dong's older sister, Tam, answered the door. Mr. and Mrs. Tran work late every day, so everyone else takes turns making dinner. It was Tam's turn to cook. She was busy making the garlicky, fishy sauce called Nuoc Chum. She let me try it on some rice. It was sweet and salty and sour. It tasted interesting. Later, when Mrs. Tran gets home, she'll make fried rice with peas. Then when Mr. Tran gets home, everyone will sit down and eat together. When I asked if anyone had seen my brother, Dong said Anthony had been helping Mrs. Howe and May Lee with their groceries. The Howes live on the corner, so I started to walk up the street. Harry, wait up, someone called. It was my friend, Rajit. He was carrying three round metal boxes all clipped together. Something inside smelled delicious. So I asked him what it was. Rajit said his parents were working at their video and gift shop. So he was bringing them leftovers in a tiffin carrier. There was a big party at the Kurja Marithi's house last weekend. So Rajit's mother cooked a fancy, colorful Indian dish called virani. It's made with peas, cashews, raisins, 
lots of spices and a special kind of rice called basmati rice. I had tasted birani at Rajit's house the last time I went out looking for Anthony. When I told Rajit that I was looking for my brother again, he said Anthony and Mele were blowing bubbles out a window at the Ho's house. The Ho's came from China a year ago. Mrs. Ho is just learning how to speak English. We smile at each other a lot. Mrs. Ho was steaming white rice for her family and the warder who lives in the back room. She was also making tofu and vegetables in the wok. That's a big pan with a round bottom. Mrs. Ho always makes me sit down and eat something when I come over. Everyone at the Ho's house uses chopsticks. Mei Li, who is only three and a half years old, can even pick up a single grain of rice with her chopsticks. Mei Li laughed at me when I tried using chopsticks and dropped some vegetables. She said Anthony was bye-bye, so I decided to try our backyard neighbors, the Blues. The Blues are from Haiti. Their cat just had kittens, so Anthony wonders over there a lot. Mrs. Blue teaches English at the community center. We get to call her Madame Blue. Madame Blue speaks three languages, French, English, and Creole. When I walked in, Madame Blue was making a Creole style Haitian dinner. It had hot peppers, chives, red beans, and you guessed it, rice. Monsieur Blue works two jobs, so he won't get home till late. Madame Blue says the pot will stay on the stove and the rice will get tastier and spicier. Adeline and Jean Marie Blue came home for dinner on their break from their after school jobs at the grocery store. They helped themselves to bowls of rice and beans from the pot and gave some to me. I thought my mouth was on fire. Jean Marie teased me when I gulped some water. It was getting late and I still hadn't found Anthony. Adeline said she had seen him with a kitten in his arms, climbing the fence to our yard. I said thanks and au revoir. That means goodbye and hurried home. When I walked into the house, Anthony was showing the kitten to our baby sister, Anna. He was explaining to mom that he was only borrowing the kitten. Mom was putting dinner on the table. Her grandmother from Northern Italy taught our grandmother, who taught mom how to cook Risi e Bisi rice with green peas. Mom puts butter, grated cheese, and some nutmeg on it. It smelled so good, but my stomach wasn't grumbling anymore. I told mom that I was too full to eat. Anthony said he wanted to eat his dinner, even though he was full, because he loves rice, and that afternoon he found out that everybody cooks rice. Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed learning about different cultures and how we all eat rice. I think it's really neat that we have something in common with everybody out there. I have a special dish that's been passed down to me with rice and chicken that I make for my family. Do you have a special dish that you make with your family? I hope you enjoyed today's book. Please see the next several pages for recipes that were featured in today's story. I hope you get a chance to make one. If you like today's story and would like to see others, please visit my channel at the Teachers Read Aloud and please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks. Recipes. Rice. Mrs. D's Black Eyed Peas and Rice. The Diaz's Turmeric Rice with Pigeon Peas. Tam's Newark Cham.
Mrs. Trans Fried Rice, Rajit's Birani, Mrs. Howe's Tofu with Vegetables. Madam Blue's Rice and Beans, Great Grandmother's Reese Abisi.